How y'all doing, my sisters? We teaching that we're the Israelites, right? Go ahead and read that for me, Deuteronomy 6 and 7. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6 and verse 7. Uh huh. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. Uh huh. And shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. Right. And when thou walkest by the way. And when thou liest down. And when thou risest up. So I said, when you lie down, when you rise up, you must teach your children. And they said, you must teach them how? Diligently. Diligently. That means time in and time out, you teaching your kids. To be diligent about something means you going for that thing. You about that life. That's what it means to be diligent, right? So to be diligent, you got to teach them when? Diligently unto thy children, and shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. So when you're at the house, you must teach your children. Read. And when thou walkest by the way, and when you're in the way, you out and about, you must teach your children. I have a son. If I'm out and about with my son, and I see a half-naked woman, I'm telling my son, this is what you don't want. Right. She's dressed in modesty. Right. She's dressed like a whore. Right. That's not what you want. Right. That's what I'm telling my son. When I'm with my daughters, I got to tell them, you don't dress like that. Close your legs. A princess don't have her legs up. She has a dress on. She has a skirt on. Right. But in certain ways, you must walk. In certain ways, you got to sit. Give me 1 Corinthians 11. That's how you teach them diligently when you're in the way. And then at nighttime, you got to read them bedtime stories. Right? Read them the Bible. Right. You got to sit down and be diligent with your children and with your wife. With your wife. How you doing, my brother? What's your name? Say it again. Stop. Stop. Okay. So what we teach them is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Americans are God's chosen people. And we, the so-called black men, must get our communities in order. Right. We must first get the, ourselves in order, then the black woman, then the children. Read. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. Uh-huh. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So our head, the head of so-called black man, is Jesus Christ. The black Messiah. That's, That's right. Read, right. sir. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of these women out here is the man. So I'm going to tell my sisters, y'all got to stop dressing immodestly. Right. Cover up your body. My sister had a dress on, but it was an immodest dress. The slit came all the way up to her thigh. Her ass showing. You got to wear an immodest clothing. Why is that? So you don't attract men for sex. All women wonder why they baby mamas. Why they part of statistics. Why they are alone. What'd you say? Man ain't shit. Yeah, why the man ain't shit. If the man ain't shit, you ain't shit. Right. Give me that in Sirach 26. You wanna attract who you are. Right. If you're a godly man, you're gonna attract a godly woman. That's right. If you're a godly woman, you're gonna attract a godly man. Right. But if you're wicked and evil, you're gonna attract that. Read. The book of Sirach, chapter 26 and verse 23. Uh -huh. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man. So I said a wicked woman is given to a wicked man. What else? But a godly woman is given to him that feareth the Lord. But if you godly, you gonna get a godly woman. So my brother Marcellus, my brother Stark, we trying to show you. You gotta be godly if you gonna get a godly woman. But if you in your sins, if you being wicked, you gonna get a wicked woman. Right. When you met your wife, did you, were you in the truth? Did you know about the truth? At that time, I was Huh? What? Oh, you was in Islam, okay. Right, so now that's what you got. You got an Islamic wife. Does she believe in Islam? No, she left her. She left so after you left Islam, when you met her, she left Islam because you left her. And she went back to Christianity. What does that show you? Read that again. But I will have you, 1 Corinthians 11, 3. Uh -huh. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man. So after you left her head, you left her, and you taught her Islam, she left Islam because you left. You as her head, you her guidance, you her protector. 
you were a teacher, you were a provider. Once you left off being that role, she went back into the only thing she knew, Christianity. Right. Right? So now, how y'all doing my sisters? We teaching that the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans are God's chosen people. Right. My sister, y'all gotta cover up your body, right? Y'all can't be dressed out of here in modest. When you come out in public, you Young wanna sister. cover up your body. Young Only sister. your husband should see your body. No other man should be able to look at you and see your naked. Right. Right? My sister, same thing with you. I like that you got a dress on, but you wanna wear a modest dress. No man should better see your curves, your hips, and your figure. Only your husband should see your body. Right. Now, out you. Like, you see our sister's reaction, right? You see that reaction, right? What is wrong with me telling my sisters to cover up their body? Master Torque, what, what is wrong with our people? That's what happened in a broken home. If the father's not there to raise his daughters up, look at it. You should not be twerking in public. Come on now. You should not be twerking in public. That should be done in the confines of your home with your husband. That's what that should be done in. Give me Hebrews 13 and 4. The scripture says to keep watch over a shameless daughter. But guess what? The black man has failed his community. Right. The black man has failed his community. I want to know how they over there preaching about watching me and Hold on. Hey, talk to me, sis. If you got a question, talk to me. What you need to know? Oh, I got my husband. I can talk to my husband. Your husband let you come up the house like that? Like what? Half naked. Like, I'm not right. half naked. You got your mind your on the nipples. wrong thing. I don't know, but we can call him right here. And can, you can talk to him. Don't you can call your husband. Don't worry about her nipples. I am the mother. I am her mother. Don't worry about her nipples. I'm going to worry about you because you're my people. Don't worry about you. Don't worry about you. I love y'all, so I'm gonna care about y'all. I love y'all, so I'm gonna care about y'all. Because I don't want these brothers. I don't want nobody else seeing my sister. Shut the hell up. I don't want nobody else seeing my sister. I don't want nobody else seeing my sister have it. Read. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 4. Read. Marriage is honorable and all. It said, Marriage is honorable and all. Read. And the bed undefiled. And that bed will be undefiled. Okay. Why? Because you're married. How do you feel about this? You're not a baby like mama. That. Right. You're not a jump off. Right? You're not a thought. That's why marriage is honorable. <laughs> Read. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. But if you a side chick, if you're having one night stands, if you're just having sex to have sex, God will judge you. Yes, sir, you can get that too. That's what, he will. If I break these commandments, he will. He will. God will judge me if I break his commandments. And I'm telling you, this is Ezekiel like 3 and 16. God will judge me if I break his commandments. And God is judging our people right now because we're breaking the commandments. That's why we're in the ghettos. That's why we're in poverty. That's why we're in section eight. That's why we got baby mamas. That's why we got baby daddies. Right. God is judging us. Right. And we think it's normal. It's normal to live in poverty. That's not normal. It's normal for these young boys to kill each other, to drill each other. That's not normal. That's not normal right. for these young boys to drill each other, to kill each other, to have sex with our daughters and leave them. Right. Read. The book of Ezekiel chapter 16 verse 44. Hey, we, lo we love you, sis. We love you. Please. Behold, everyone that useth proverb shall use this proverb against thee. We love y'all. Say, as is the mother, so is her daughter. The mother's loud mouth, so her daughter has a loud mouth. Right. As the mother, so the daughter. The mother was dressed in modestly, her daughter was dressed in modestly. She gonna tell me, I'm gonna tell her to tell her daughter to cover up her nipples. Yeah, mama, you should have told your daughter to right. cover up her nipples. Right. Why well, I gotta tell her that? You in the car with her as a mother, you should have told her to dress her ass up before she come out the house. Right. She half naked outside. Only her husband should see her body. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed 
But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.